Hello, Kazgem here, and today we're taking a brief look at the Procedural Objects mod, or PO for short. Now, again, this is going to be a very brief introduction to the mod, purely intended to get people's feet wet and get people familiar with the bare-bone basics of the mod. By no means a comprehensive tutorial, this is more meant to be just a quick beginner's look into the mod. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now, first things first, if you are at all worried about procedural objects, do not have to use it. Again, I use it quite frequently in my cities to do fun little things like you know, this little canal side shopping area on some pillars, jetting out over the river. I do things like, you know, creating fun little statue areas. I do a lot of little things with procedural objects that really help kind of make it in the end. A really, really nice product. So, go ahead and go over the bare bone basics of how you're going to use the mod. So, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to search for an object. There are a lot of objects and buildings and things that you can use as a procedural object. And we are, for exercise sake, going to use a pillar. So, this highway pillar, if you just place it down, too bad. But, let's just say I want this pillar to be a little bit bigger. Because I want to say the rest of this area because this is not good it's not really supported it's not really looking fine so let's go ahead and get this guy rolling as a procedural object so to do so we're going to hit the convert into po button down here there we go and then you're going to plop it down so now we have our first procedural object now what we're going to do is we're going to tap this little plus sign and what you want to do is look at this first set of options. Now, first thing that you'll want to see is you have the move to button. It allows you just to drag and drop it around. Also, you can drag and drop it around with move it if you enable the procedural objects option down here on the bottom right. And then move your procedural objects around. Super cool, the move it one. But again, back in the base procedural objects mode, all you have to do to get started is hit one thing, edit. Now, you've got a lot of points on here, vertices that are drawn, and these are how you're going to manipulate this tower. So, first we're going to only use the general tool at first, then we're going to play around with these basic controls. So by default, you are in the position menu, and or the position tool. And with this, you can use your mouse to drag along these different axes, X, Y, and Z, or Z, axes and just sit there and drag it around nice and simple you can drag it up down etc etc easy the next tool if you just tap the position tool get scale make it deeper you can make it wider ah that's with the height tall make it super short now something to keep in mind Height goes from, this is all from the center of this. So, height will always be from the bottom. Depth and width, you'll note, are always from the center. So you'll note that's right to the center of that axis right there. Right at the point which they all intersect, that's what you're doing it on. Important to note for later. Go ahead and pull it back out a little bit. There we go. Alrighty. And next we have... Rotation, and this is where you can rotate it along your X, Y, and Z axes. This is where you can get really crazy and do some really neat stuff with this. You can drag it around, get just the right angle, and yeah, this is where you can really have some fun with the object. Go ahead and make it daytime so we can actually see what's happening. Yeah. All right, and we have flung it underground. Go ahead and see if we can get it back. And see, this is part of the uh, danger procedure. I'll just see things trapped, please. There we go. All right. We got it back. We got it back. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we want to move it over to there. But I'm still not happy with the shape of this. I don't like the fact that these little edges are popping up. So let's go back. So back in your main procedural objects menu. Hit back. And then you want to select your procedural objects object again. And then you'll want to go ahead and hit edit. Then, this is a very advanced looking thing, but it's actually not bad. So, what I want to do, if I want to manipulate a certain part of the object, I want to hold right click and drag around that portion of the object. I can just right click a single 
point like that. There we go. But we're going to go ahead and grab it like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the arrow keys to move it around. Now keep in mind, these arrow keys are in relation to the object whenever it's placed. So you'll see that by hitting the up arrow, what I can do right now, it's going one way. Down arrow to go the opposite. Then you can go left and right. And of course, page up, page down. There we go. And we page up, page down, just because that seems to be what we need. Base. And perfect. There we go. Now it's hidden. And it looks like we got one guy right here that is still up. Go ahead and use page up, page down to get it hidden. And then we'll come on right here. And we'll do the same thing again. Go ahead and grab guys. I'm going to pull you down. There we go. And just like that, our pillar is ready to go. Nice flat surface like nothing ever happened. And as a bonus, you can also grow and shrink it from right here. So let's say that you like the top, you like the bottom, you just want the middle to grow. Here's the whole pillar, like so. Drag it in. Decide that you just want to pull it around. Have some fun with it. Use your arrow keys like this. And see, it can go all sorts of fun places. All right. Or you can, of course, use more. Drag it on around like that. So, so you can get lots of crazy objects and shapes like that. Also, if you right-click any of your objects, see all these different things. You can see position, rotation, all this stuff. So let's go ahead and mess with rotation. See, uh, as we drag around, oops, sorry, as we select this, then we rotate and you can twist that like this so now you're messing with rotation and that is really really powerful you can get this as crazy looking as you want so you can pull it around this way also take the other way if you just pull it like so there we are some really crazy objects happening here but we want to keep it nice and simple for now Place it like that. Then let's just say I want to raise this guy a little bit. So we're gonna grab this guy and let's right click again. And we're gonna say that we want, go ahead and flatten this whole bit. So let's actually just grab all of this. The flatten tool is very powerful. All it's gonna do is it's gonna take all these vertices and flatten them. Check it out. There we go. Now we've got a nice flat top. Now it looks like we're ready to potentially snap that in underneath that pier like we wanted. So, in order to do that, let's pull that down. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back, and then we're going to hit edit, and then we're going to go back to our general tool. And we're going to sit here, and we're going to move this into position. You can click and drag, or you can use the position tool. It's really up to you what you want to do. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this down, and there we go, just like that. We're about ready to go, but oh, it's not quite tall enough. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to drag it down to the water. That And water and pedestrians and vehicles, whatever you have, will pass through here. Actually not a problem. Now, go ahead and scale it up. Pull it up to right about there. And then we'll go ahead and rotate it just so it's a little bit more straight. Or at least the vertices are straight. There we go. Nice and simple, but I've created this really detailed pillar that I want on the bottom of this. But I want to have a couple more of them because right now it's looking kind of lonely. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back. And then we're going to select that pillar again. And we're going to hit copy. And then you want to click out of your current procedural object by right clicking. And then you're going to hit control V with procedural objects open. And you can sit there and plop a couple of these guys in. And then every time you click, you place another one. Control V click. Control V click. Control V click. And Control V click. Nice. Now, go ahead and grab these guys. Grab these guys. There we go. Not quite. Go ahead and grab this. There we go. And now, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and set this to a layer. Then set it as a new layer. So what I just did is a pretty powerful thing, because now what we can do is we can select this layer, then you can hide your layer. If you're hiding it, you can't see it. 
very powerful. That's good for whenever you're working with lots of deep stuff, but we're not going to use it right now. So for now, what we're going to do is you can then take each one of those and move it down individually. However, that is it for this very brief introduction to procedural objects. Again, I've given you the bare bone basics, the very simple tools you need to get started with procedural objects. Again, you can mess with statues, buildings, road pillars, etc. I invite you just to open up a fresh world and explore. See what you can do with procedural objects so you can see what happens. Now, one thing I will warn you against. Do not turn complex objects into procedural objects because you may crash your game doing so. Very careful with this. Things like this in the vanilla games, such as the uh, ore extractors. Those are very complex objects. Do not do that in game. Then any advanced crane objects, do not do that in game because that will potentially crash your game. Anyways, with that warning aside, I will ask you to go check me out at twitch.tv slash casual. If you have any further questions, be sure to like and subscribe to this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, I will see you around City Skylines. And until next time, this is Kazgem signing out. See ya!